Thank you so much. I'm really excited to be here. Such a beautiful place. I also have the pleasure of playing on this Lion and Healy harp made here right in Chicago. And uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. So I want to take it home with me now. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. <laughs> Thanks so much. That one was called The Warm Shoulder. And the next one is called On the Day You Saw the Dead Whale, which is um, actually about a day I saw a dead whale, which was really sad. But also, I wanted to write a song um, and mem with the memory of that whale in mind uh, and the beauty of that animal. I'd never seen one in, in person. And I still haven't seen one in person besides this one. And it's just really was just so huge and um, just wanted to write a song in its memory. Um, I saw it in Bolinas, California when I was doing a residency at the Headlands Center for the Arts and um, that's when I wrote this record, Hundreds of Days, when I was at that art center. So here it is, hope you like it. <laughs>
I'm in my own little world up here, I feel like. <laughs> um, uh, I just flew in from Paris. I was on tour for a month in Europe. And so it's really nice to come to Chicago um, af from there and to be able to play for you guys. And I feel like after a month of playing shows, I feel like my, my fingers are very strong, so. Um, <laughs> And also I get to play this beautiful harp. So this is kind of like my dream show to play. So also all the plants. Amazing. The next song I'm going to play is called For Scott Kelly Return to Earth. And I wrote this song about like seven years ago or something when the astronaut Scott Kelly was up in space. And he spent a year up there. And I was following him on Instagram. And I was like, wow, that's so weird that someone, you know, it's so cool that ins you can Instagram from space. <laughs> but then also I was thinking, like, how strange it must feel to come back after a whole year in space, you know? Like, oh, one day you're at in space, and the next day you're <laughs> going to the gas station or whatever. <laughs> and how strange that must feel. 
And um, I, at the time, I had broken my jaw. I was babysitting, and I just tripped and fell on my face. And I had to have my jaw wired shut for two months, and so I couldn't talk at all. Um, and so I st my brain started to get really weird, and I was like, oh, them, that's what they do. Like, eat crunchy food. <laughs> you know, I started to see humans in this really w different, weird way, and I'm really glad it was only two months. But um, I, when I got my jaw unwired, I had to relearn how to be social again and to hang out and to talk and everything. And, um, so I was thinking maybe Scott Kelly was probably feeling the same way. So I wrote him this song. And I emailed it to NASA. <laughs> and because you can just write to NASA. At, it was like public relations at nasa.com or something like that if you need to get in touch. But I, um, I sent it to them. And they sent it to him. And apparently he really likes the song. So that's good. But um, I was telling this story to another audience somewhere, and someone came up to me, and they're like, yeah, it's interesting because they're, they have to go to really intense therapy, like because the astronauts coming back down to Earth. I don't know exactly. Uh, I don't know anything beyond that, really, but you know, just the fact that they've seen something so profound that not a lot of people have seen, and they, so they have to, it's like a required therapy that they have to undergo because they've seen something so incredible. But um, yeah, here's the song.
Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to play a song um, or two from my record, Silver Ladders, which came out in 2020. Um, and I actually, um, I feel like Chicago has a big uh, hand in making this record happen because I was here playing that um, Midwinter Festival, the Pitchfork Midwinter Festival, <laughs> which was so amazing. Um, and I am a really big fan of this band, Slow Dive. And they were also playing, and I nerdily... Um, I was a fangirl to Neil from Slow Dive, and I was like, be my friend, be my friend. And uh, uh, we exchanged information, and then that night I went to bed in the hotel, and I was like, oh, what if I got him to produce my harp record? What would that sound like, a combination of Slow Dive and me? And so um, I wrote to him the next day, and I was like, would you ever consider producing a record? And he's like, sure, why not? You know, I don't know much about harps, but why not? And so I flew there to Cornwall a few months later um, to work with Neil in his studio. And that was in January of 2020. And then the world changed a lot. And then the record came out in October 2020. But um, I definitely would not have made that record if I hadn't played here um, for the festival. So I was at the Art Institute. And um, so, yeah, thanks, Chicago, for making that happen. <laughs> thanks. I'm going to play the song Till a Mermaid Drags You Under.
Thank you. Thanks so much. The next song I'm going to play is the title track from Silver Ladders. Thank you. 
Thanks so much. Thank you. Are there any harpists in here? <laughs> Yay, harp friends. Thank you for coming. Um, yeah, I love, I love playing Chicago because there's harpists here. And uh, I recently played at the Dutch International Harp Convention, which was really amazing. I don't know, I just feel like I found my people. <laughs> and I could get as nerdy as I needed to, you know. Love it. Um, I am going to play, next I'm going to play a song called Quintana, and uh, it's not r recorded anywhere except for my band camp, like kind of a rough version, but it's maybe my favorite song to play. I really love playing it, so hope you like it.
Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you. I'm going to play maybe two more for you. Um, thanks again for coming. Thanks, everybody that set the show up. It's like really a dream show. <clears throat> this one's called Wawa by the Ocean. Ah, <laughs> thanks. I used to live in Philly for a long time. Do you know what Wawa is? It's like a gas station. <laughs> it's a gas station in F Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and I used to spend summers at, on this beach on Long Beach Island, New Jersey, and there was a Wawa right there, Wawa number 700. And I would change into my swimsuit, and get a hoagie, and enjoy the day at the beach. And so when I moved away from Philly, I wrote this song for my special Wawa. And um, yeah, it just has a little scrapbook memory of it. And because I lived there for 13 years, and I would go there for 13 summers. and. I guess Wawa found out about it on Twitter. And then they asked me if they could mail me a prize pack to California where I moved. And they did, and it was like a t-shirt that says, I love Wawa, <laughs> a cooler, like a beach cooler. And then they sent me some of their, ho their horrible coffee. <laughs> but but I, I very much savored it, you know? I was like parsing it out and like the coffee, but then that, the decaf coffee is still in the freezer. but. Um, I love, I love Wawa. Here's the song.
Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, the last one I'm going to play is called Otis Walks Into the Woods. It's from my record at the Dam, which came out, I think, 2015 or 16. Um, yeah, I hope you like it. Thanks again for having me.
Thank you. See you next time. Thanks so much. That's so kind. Thanks, you guys. I'm going to play just one more quick one. Um, thank you. It's really sweet. This one's called It Feels Like Floating. Thank you. See you next time. Thank you.